Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another episode here in Passy. Just again, it's absolutely a pleasure to have you. Thank you very much for joining us. We're going to be checking out the state of play in just a couple of minutes. Um, literally, uh, what I've heard of being remotely contained uh, within this state of play is actually going to be more VR and some accolade awards, I think, for like, a couple of games that came out like Days Gone and uh, not that much else of massive report. There's talk of about a specific Avengers uh, thing. I've got a feeling that uh, the Avengers uh, Ultimate Alliance game that's coming out on Switch might get announced as well for the PlayStation 4. If that does happen, that'd be amazing because um, I've kind of, uh, I've, I've played the first two Ultimate Alliance games. I'm a huge fan of Marvel Heroes Omega back in the day. MG, thank you very much. And uh, I've just kind of gotten to the point of wanting to play another game like that. Um, I want to play a Diablo-esque dungeon crawler with Marvel characters again, because uh, Marvel Heroes was great crack to play, uh, even though it had so many other issues and a lot of um, lack of forward momentum with its actual content. But I would love to actually play another standalone kind of uh, couch co-op experience. That drop-in, drop-out gameplay that I had whenever I was back in college with friends. It was, uh, it was a great experience, it was fun. Um, it wasn't as good as first one in my opinion um i just didn't like the story storyline the, the, the way they broke it up so a minutes to actually chill here have you got any thoughts if anybody's actually watching throw into the comments into the chat whatever you think um there might be a couple of things that you know that are going up and play that i have no idea about um the big surprise last time was like the first thing was iron man um as part of the broadcast uh, they did like an iron man vr game so they could be talking more about it and a couple other games especially with the um their recent uh, release of Endgame. I, I think there's probably a, a few games that actually, I expect we should have been hyped long before this if they were going to release them in time for a kind of like Disney next period. Next, maybe even a, another Spider Man, possibly, from the actually announced uh, with the release of Far From Home soon. And obviously, character being made in uh, mainline theme character. Um, what else can pop into my mind that was actually announced? Um, I hope for, oh, I, what I really like to see would be a little indie um, montage that they have done in the past for Sony games. So since you just go in a montage through a bunch of the third party developers and developers kind of like do something cool because I want to I want to see, see a bunch of things that I haven't seen before rather than actually stuff that I'm sitting, I'm literally waiting to hear more back from and actually like waiting to be released. Uh, surprise me, Sony. That's what we want. We want surprises. We don't want um, what felt like a bit of a lackluster uh, PS Plus announcement video that came out the last time. So maybe uh, see the play can actually be the, their new Nintendo Directs um, if they actually do. interesting something that we can uh, talk about and get work. But we'll see see what they've got. Literally at this point now, how many minutes are we? No, uh, another three or four minutes until the broadcast actually starts. Um, God, I uh, probably should have waited a little bit longer before going live. But at least we actually have time to have time to point in the chat. Actually, I have a minute to off. Phone, like, I really just about to die and run out of battery. Well, I have long enough to actually send these things. Kind of do more often off camera so you can see what 
pretty much this is my frantic uh, attempt to get it spread around while we're still kind of like setting ourselves up for the actual broadcast. But another couple of minutes, or a minute or two, before this guy kicked off, so um, feel free to jump into the chat. I'll, I'm observing. Oh. I'm observing, so don't worry. <laughs> you think uh, I'm just kind of like looking at my phone and waiting. I saw the stutter in the actual video and was going like, eh, this is it, it's begun! We have begun! Yes, you are right. Right, here we go. Set the charge as well. I mean, the my phone. I mean. Huzzah! Problem solved. Right, that should work. And hopefully the chat will actually all sync up correctly as well, so... Maybe we've got this all organized. This is what comes down to years, years of practice! And finally, actually being on time for something. I kind of miss doing the E3 conferences and stuff. Um, I need to check out about conferences here to see. I mean, there's not going to be that many uh live kind of like keynotes stuff that they don't do the stage shows much anymore uh, sony said they're definitely not going to be there nintendo haven't been there for years um xbox is probably going to be the only big one and then you've got the individual companies like bethesda and all the rest so we'll see we'll see how that goes um been plenty of problems with um stage shows in the past couple of years uh, either there i don't know maybe, maybe it's just the fact that the, we're, we're beyond that point now because of actually being in an instant gratification culture and the conference itself doesn't really kind of have the distribution that it used to do whenever you could literally just release a video like this once a month. Here we go! Let's rock and roll! Right. Tony. Wait. Final Fantasy 7! That was the Final Fantasy 7 sound! Remake! Is it remake? Peggy 18. Gotta be remake! Hey, hey, do you hear that? No, that's what I was expecting. Why is the quality so bad? No, that's not... The expansion for um, Monster Hunter World. <sighs> this is trash level quality. To have. Is there anything I can do to fix that? I think it's, uh, hopefully it's not too bad for you guys with the way the screen's kind of crunched up the corner. But um, for me, it's blocky and Awful? Jesus! Well, uh, Monster Hunter World is a series that I, I think... Uh, Monster Hunter is a series I got into. Monster Hunter World I did not get into because of the grindiness of... Uh, Rains from Repetition. If I had a group that I played with it on, uh, on PlayStation, I would be good, but uh, most of the people I knew were playing all next one. I'd be tempted to maybe give the PC version a try, especially now with the expansion coming out. So blocky, it's hard to tell what's really good about this, but I mean, I like land sharks. God damn land sharks! No land sharks. Hey, thanks very much, Poseidon. Drop it in. Creatures will always look so good. I mean, whenever they did the Final Fantasy uh, crossover stuff with uh, Bahamut, it was it, it was cool because I, I play I play fourteen, but mm hmm. Well, I'm not too sure. Are cropping up all over the new world. It's having. An I was wondering if it was just going to be in the new world. These spikes are they from? Bat bat. Oh, 
Oh, dude. That's uh, fucking. That's uh, actually like. I literally put the heckles in the back of my neck, straight up going like, mm hmm, mm hmm, fuck that. Rap Bad goes out. Like, Rap Bad's like a honey badger will go after the bigger enemy. Singing? Yes, yeah, singing. Said that twice. What is that? It's a Night Fury! Everyone thought it was just a mere myth. But there it is. Valkana. Monster Hunter World Iceborne. Uh, obviously, that was announced a good while ago. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Rez? Okay. Fair enough. I think that was actually the that's one that people were kind of like annoyed about that they didn't have previously. I'm trying to think. I remember seeing people go down and actually either need to be lifted up by team yet. Don't know if they had an auto res. Massive expansion DLC coming in September. Welcome Fair back enough. to State of Play. Today, we're keeping it short and sweet with a new look at some of our most anticipated upcoming PS4 games. Don't be short and sweet. Check out Cap Don't be short and sweet. Right after this broadcast to find out more about the icy setting, new story, and new monsters that await. Okay, there's plenty more to get to. This next game is a frantic take on dungeon crawling. Let's take a look. The voxel. Voxel Crawler! Yeah. Prepare a couch cool up, top down, dungeon crawler. But we've done everything we can with Minecraft. Let's do something else with Voxel. Alright, so crossover character. Uh, okay. Wait, the, the thing is, it doesn't matter. It's skins, just thing. I mean, if it, if it actually had like differences to play, maybe. But it's just literally. Riverbond. Alright. Well, let me looks like a bit of crouch cool up on Riverbond. Oh, cucumber, you cucumber, you look interesting. This summer. I mean, gonna be now, in place let's solid, check out but... a new project from PlayStation's Worldwide Studios. Okay. Re rendered cutscene. Noise! Oh, cool! Okay. Batman and the hunt Batman in the forest. Okay. Render hunting grounds. Alright. Oh man, okay, that's I the ideas are there. Predator hunting grounds, so asymmetrical multiple. No! No! A team of specialists against the stealthy killing machine. As soon as I said asymmetrical, I started just realizing like, oh no, it's evolve, isn't it? Next year, PlayStation Blog has more details. Oh, god damn it! The remake of Medieval, which is officially coming to PS4 this fall. That's so disappointing. They lived in the kingdom of Galomir, a sorcerer named Zerog. He raised an army of yeah, Medieval remake. Oh. Uh, I never played Evil 1 or 2. I just I didn't really get into it. Um, I'd be more excited about a remake of Pandemonium over this, to be honest. Which we already did with um, Masquerade, Bobbles of Steel or something like that. Fate has given it a second chance. A chance to defeat Zarak. Oh, you. Scamp from the early PlayStation 1 era. Chance to forget the ignoble truth. Uh, this is gonna be a huge nostalgia feel for a load. It's great. I'm, I'm glad there. I'm glad they'll actually get the enjoyment out of it. But. <laughs> uh, 
my thing. Not my thing. This is a lot of gameplay of Medieval, but I mean, I don't, this, is, this is a game that doesn't need gameplay reveals past of what it already has. Medieval, we, we like, it's a remake of Medieval, it's gonna look great. You Good. won't have to wait long to play it. Medieval Fantastic. returns this fall on PS4. October? Now, let's a video for that. A true Aye. original new game that's coming to PS4. This idyllic place is our world. It has every appearance of paradise. From the white sand beaches to the mighty treetops, it appears still and peaceful. Right. But if you look closer, there is more to this than meets the eye. Um. Every living being is locked in a deadly competition. Ahead lurks the land of great danger for some and opportunities for others. But our world has changed. To survive, we too must change. Is this? It kind of reminds me of way too much of Tokyo Jungle, to be honest. Like a really, really, like, high end version of Tokyo Jungle. It takes to survive. Away in the jungle, the mighty jungle, the creatures fight tonight. That's a creepy giant spider. I'm not going to sleep tonight. Your mission is simple. Away, 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 away. Let's shift gears. We've days of play. Number days of play is not edition PS4 system. Let's take a look. Oh. Oh. Our special SKU! Based on the PS4 Slim. PS4 Slim. Oh, it's just an iridescent body color one? No? Oh. The limited edition Days of Play PlayStation 4 in Steel Grey will be available for a limited time as part of PlayStation's Days of Play. The event kicks off in June. Keep your eyes peeled. We're almost out of time, but before we go, we wanted to give you a new look at a long-awaited game. Really? Hey! I knew it was from the first, like the first bling. We started. Have fun. I'm here for you to help take the load off your shoulders. So, what's your next move, boss? That's easy enough. Are you okay? I'm fine. Here, this is for you. A flower? I'm liking the voices. <laughs> um. Being, a, being an actually kind of like an actually style <laughs> combat. Can you bear to see the planet suffer, Cloud? Okay. Did Sephiroth appear during the Junin? Not Junin, during the. <laughs> More to come in June. Let's see, not. Released in June? Final Fantasy VII. Or to come in June. That's literally no more than we fucking saw the last time. We can't wait to see more. No, none of us fucking can. Well, that's a wrap on State of Play. Fuck you! Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Well, hey, welcome back to the post show, the PlayStation State of Play live stream post show, courtesy and thanks to Generation Play. I've got my fanboy t shirt on. What a cool state of play. Look, I think if we go into these state of plays with tempered expectations, I think we will come out rewarded. Again, remembering these things are going to be happening quite regularly, so let's not just kind of froth at the mouth and get on the hype train. I think that was a well balanced. State of play. Again, short, pretty quick, um, but look, we saw some good stuff. I think Medieval is coming along nicely. I'm super excited about that. And look, 
I just, look, I think Sony are really kicking some goals at the moment. There's still a lot to learn about PlayStation 5 and what that entails, but it's it's obviously coming along. We, we know the dev kits are out there. Um, you know, the PlayStation experience, I reckon, will happen this year. They'll announce the PS5. It'll be all golden. Anyway. Keen to hear your thoughts about what you thought about State of Play and its announcements. Make sure you comment below. Uh, again, we are giving away a 12-month subscription uh, to uh, PlayStation to PSN, so make sure that you subscribe now, right now, to go in the running for... That notebook better have a whole fucking script in there, man. Subs, that's the goal. So let's try and get those 3,000 subs. But anyway, if you if you subscribe now, you go in the running. We're going to um, keep the, the stream running now, um, and we're going to announce the winner of that uh, PlayStation subscription in about... 10, 15 minutes. So make sure you stick around for the stream afterwards. Uh, wait, and in the chat, we will announce the winner. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure as well, we are Generation Play. We are a community first and foremost. You're a part of that community now. All of our content comes from within our community, so it's quite unique. All of our videos, we stream a bunch during the week. We release- wait, am I not watching this on the official channel? Uh, we're all Why is it connecting got AU? So you're a part of that community. Check out Get the links below. Get off my screen. Uh, and then obviously subscribe to the YouTube channel, go on your chance to- Oh, you fuck! The wonder was awful. There we go. I thought- I honestly thought- God! Every generation play are fuckies. Like, that was stupid. Like, that was, that was all sorts of bad. That was, again, it's, it, that's, it. there's, there's no point in doing these state of play videos whenever that's what they're going to do. It's literally four commercials that they release on PlayStation UK and Europe or whatever else at a later date. The state of play is completely and utterly meaningless. There's absolutely zero value in it. I'll throw this on now and actually like literally just start into it and actually watch it again. With the audio down or off or something. And we can just talk about this instead. Right, there we go. So, um, the PlayStation state of play is absolutely shite. It is absolutely positively garbage. Um, I was, I was just going to do... I'm going to actually fix a couple of things here. Uh... Here we go. This is actually a bit better, so you can actually go full screen with this. Wow. Okay. So, the PlayStation State of Play um, is a terrible idea. It's poorly uh, put together. It doesn't contain anywhere near enough actual kind of like reveals or content it doesn't uh go into detail with anything it doesn't uh point out or speak to developers it doesn't um have the charm it is a really shitty commercial with, with the, to be honest i get more interested in the ps plus videos that get released month by month that are un that aren't even like they have no words that the, the no presenter they're just like bada bam bam ba -ba -da, for a minute and a half just showing you stuff <coughs> a montage video like that would have been absolutely fine this was rubbish from the moment it began to the moment it ended first thing it does is actually give you a momentary kind of like bing oh there's the final fantasy oh there we're going to talk about it. square enix is going to do a final fantasy 7 reveal oh, this is going to be awesome this is going to be oh this is going to be all focused about this. this is going to be great we'll know more we'll know how far the game goes we know what's going to happen but no and then immediately cuts on to the other materials um end up uh we're essentially explaining to us a expansion for a game that we've known about for nearly a year and have seen actual footage of previously great to see capcom releasing that stuff that's good to see. I'm glad actually DLC content is actually on its way. Kind of at the same time, it's DLC content, so we don't really need a big push for it. Because if you're going to sell Monster Hunter World, you're going to sell it on all of its mechanics, not just the DLC. The DLC is almost a guarantee. You just need to remind people who have that game that it exists. You didn't need to do uh, monster reveals and everything else. I'm sure people are super hyped about it. They're massively into the game, but that wasn't that's a, that, that's unnecessary uh, advertising and kind of slightly spoilerish for people who might actually care about those kind of things um god after that was the voxel game that's um 
a top down for a don top down dungeon crawler voxel game which to be honest do we i don't kind of think any of us actually need or care about that in any way shape or form it's great that people are making games but there's literally nothing added to the genre there's nothing special about it other than a bunch of skins of characters from other games it looks but now it looks quite boring and unless you have three mates sitting next to you then you can all like, <laughs> while you're actually like slapping at each other for comedy purposes or for youtuber bit for groups then there's no reason to really be playing that game it'll pass us mostly all by unless it has something of massive import that uh, like a boss card like they have these big massive uh multi-stage bosses that you have to fight through and chip away at a shell of them to get into the next shell of them and the next shell like that that might actually be interesting as a boss rushy kind of game um predator hunting grounds immediately announced immediately excited immediately fucking disappointed it's an asymmetric four-on-one uh it literally it's it predators hunting a group of people through the forest it's evolve it's evolve of a smaller monster it's evolve of a harder to find smaller monster that stalks you it's assassin's creed multiplayer that's what it is it may be asymmetric uh, and could be possibly like day dead by daylight's kind of fun dead by daylight's is more excitement yet because it has, has, almost has that the horror slasher feel where the inevitable attack on each person is there and if you're playing this group great fun but a predator it, it, you don't have the characterization it's a fucking reptilian thing hunting you from the treetops where nobody says anything to each other I, a game about communication between the soldiers and the ground i'm sure is going to be fine but there's there's no interaction with the person who's hunting you which is going to be a bit shit to be honest i mean that's the only fun i get out of playing days by De dead by daylights or with people who play dead by daylights in larger groups is because somebody is running around screaming like a maniac at people because like that's the best part of it is actually being the murderer just going i'm gonna get you i'm gonna get you that that's part and parcel of the reason why um after that god uh away the animals in the forest tonight literally tokyo jungle on a big open world plane where you, you play as a flying squirrel man fuck like, like it looks gorgeous yeah but uh, i mean I can't, I, i'm I'm, ex I'm excited to explore a whole new world of post-apocalyptic forest reclaiming uh, our world animal kingdom things attacking you I, it, it's an interesting perspective i actually like it for the scale because you're such a small creature walking around in those areas then everything will immediately feel much more expansive as it is anyway the 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 traversal allowing to squirrel suit yourself around it, it's it's going to be odd to say the least but it's a good good start for something different it's just just one of those things where i played tokyo jungle a lot on the ps3 so immediately as soon as i see that i'm going oh i know exactly what that is and tokyo jungle gave you a number of different creatures you can play as different levels of survivability from chihuahua to fucking great big bear you know and like you had a scale that you could actually unlock for time we'll see what away does i imagine it's not you're going to be that squirrel the entire time with unlockable squirrel powers as you work your way through a, a skill tree in an open world where you, you have to climb up and look at location I, I, it's a fuck it could end up being a ubisoft game that's all i'm saying um and top it all off another trailer for final fantasy 7 remake saying more will be coming in june not that it's not announcing, announcing a launch date not saying um that it's going to be ps5 compatible not saying it's uh how far the story is actually going from what we can tell in the trailer it still shows just only as far as the destruction of the mako reactor and then somehow sephiroth is there now i know they're probably trying to retell things and put a different scale and pace on it and maybe um have him have a nightmare so literally at, after the macro reactor is blown up and you fall down into the church you have a, a whole dream sequence where you kind of like relive a moment of your life where you kind of see zach and you actually see sephiroth and you maybe kind of get a, get a glimpse of what happened in nibble 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 time nibble, nibble, nibble time in the place of nipple time then maybe they'll actually show you a little bit of that and that's probably the, your tie off for the story that is a not a lot of fucking gameplay that actually been shown off uh there's not a lot of actual like exploration being shown off it's gonna feel super 
super, super fucking short if they're going to do this episodically and you only play as far as literally the church. I mean, I can't, I'm trying to think of like even what, 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 how far would they take it? Because those games were so linear and they probably want to have this big open Final Fantasy 15 esque world map to wander around and have like a 20 different activities to take part in. But it's not like we're going to be watching them go to the, the gold saucer where there's like 20 mini games floating around. There's going to be stuff that you're limited to doing. Like, you're... God. Final Fantasy 7 was actually really disappointing to Steve because it, it, I'm looking at it going like, why the fuck is this not a movie? Why is this just not, not just a fucking another movie? Like, we already have Advent Children. We already have what happens after this as a movie. And it looks good. So why are we not just doing this? Good for that bing. Hey, we knew that noise. Um, I, I'm just, I'm just absolutely pissed over the the games that they showed showed this. Um, at least we have a higher quality version now. I was going to switch back to the wider screen so we can actually talk about this wider quality. But uh, anybody who's actually been watching this on live stream, thank you very much for watching. We'll stay uh, live streaming for a while longer. But for all of us that actually are watching this as a just a quick YouTube video, I'm going to have to cut it here because I'm just going to get angry. Thank you very much for watching. If you happen to actually enjoy this stuff, check out the videos that pop up on the rest of the screen. See all you dudes. I might keep sleeping. Hi. Bye. Something. I'm angry. Fuck it.